Alright, so today's video is going to be a quick video where I show you how to configure the mapping visualizations in MicroStrategy because they don't work out of the box. Uh, you actually have to apply a, like an API key to get those working. So I'm going to show you how those work. And the reason for this video is because very shortly I have another video coming out where we're going to create a really stunning dashboard and make use of these mapping visualizations. Uh, so coming up. Now, if you haven't used the mapping features before in MicroStrategy, one of the things you might encounter is when you attempt to use it, you may see a message like this. Please contact MicroStrategy technical support to obtain a map key. Now, let me show you how to set this up so this, to get this working. All right, now in order to set up the mapping features in MicroStrategy, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to the website software.microstrategy.com. You're going to want to log in with your MicroStrategy account, and that will bring you to this page you see here. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you're going to come down to under the license keys section where this says request geospatial keys. You're going to click this drop down arrow, and you're going to want to select Esri key. Okay, once you click that, you will then receive an email. That email will have a key in it, and it will look something like this. All right, so inside the body of the email, you will see these tags, key, and then you'll have the key here. Okay? And what you want to do is you're going to take that, you're going to want to copy and paste that. Okay? Then you want to, going to want to come over to your MicroStrategy web server, and you're going to want to create a direct, come to this directory here. Micro, so if you're using um, IIS, it will be MicroStrategy web ASPX folder, plugins. And inside that plugins folder, you're going to want to create this folder here, connector for Esri map. Then you're going to want to create web-inf folder. And then inside that, you're going to want to create an XML folder. And then inside that, you're going to want to create a folder named config. Then inside that folder, you're going to want to create a file called Esri config.xml. Same thing you see here. And then what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to create a file that looks something like this. So you're going to want to create these tags exactly as you see here. EC, apps, and then this is where you're going to cut and paste your key that you received in the email. Now, once you do that, all you have to do is simply go over to your IIS web server, or if you're using Tomcat, go over to Tomcat, restart your web server. Now, in order to restart your web server in uh, Windows, it's very simple. So we'll come on over to our... IIS, Information Services Manager, and what we'll do is we'll click on our server, and we'll just click Restart in the upper right-hand corner there, and that's it. should be pretty quick. And now the mapping features of MicroStrategy should work. You should be able to use those mapping visual visualizations successfully. Okay, now that we've applied our mapping key and we've reset our IIS server, uh, let's go ahead and try our visualization again and see if it's working. We'll run this, and there you have it. As you can see, our mapping visualization is now functioning. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and check me out on jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And as always, thanks for watching.